So my name is Ibram X. Kendi, and I'm the author of, of How to Be an Anti-Racist. And this book really seeks to show that the contrast is actually not between racist and not racist, but the contrast is between racist and anti-racist. What I think many people who I self-identify as, as not racist don't realize is that really over the course of, of history, nearly every group of people that we actually consider to be racist have also identified as, 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 as not racist, whether that's white supremacists today or segregationists of, of yesterday. And so really, each of us should be striving to be anti-racist, not necessarily striving to be not racist, because really that's a term primarily of denial, and it's a term really that doesn't have much meaning. But it does mean something to be racist. When, when someone says that there's something wrong with a racial group, they're being racist. When, when someone says there's nothing wrong with any of the racial groups, they're being anti-racist. When, when someone supports policies that create and reproduce racial inequity, they're being racist. When someone supports policies that yield and create racial equity, they're being an anti-racist. And these aren't necessarily identities or, or fixed categories or tattoos. Literally, what we're doing in each moment determines who, who and what we are in each moment. And people change from moment to moment and, and from year to year. And I think we should identify people based on what they're saying and doing because no one ever becomes racist or even anti-racist.